Holmesburg Prison was located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and was part of the Philadelphia prison system. From the 1950s to the 1970s, inmates were bribed with money to test out different products ranging from lotions to chemical warfare agents. The prisoners were unaware of the kinds of chemicals that were being tested on them. The prison doctors did not treat the harmful side effects from some products. In fact, they took regular biopsies from the affected areas, which caused even more harm. Dr. Albert M. Kligman was the dermatologist who oversaw the Holmesburg prison experiments. He was originally called to the prison to help deal with an outbreak of athlete's foot. He was quoted saying, All I saw before me was acres of skin. It was like a farmer seeing a field for the first time. For 20 years, he oversaw the perfume experiments. He became very wealthy and well-known in the field of dermatology for creating retin-A. Some unethical aspects of the experiments include bribery, lack of respect, harm, lack of consent, withheld information, coercion, and the targeting of a vulnerable population. Vulnerable populations are defined as a group of people who are disadvantaged in some way, who usually have less power than the majority of their peers and fewer resources to dedicate to their health. Some examples of vulnerable populations are children and babies, the elderly, the disabled, prisoners, people of low socioeconomic status, pregnant women, and minorities. Prisoners are a vulnerable population due to their limited access to resources. Their confinement compromises their ability to exercise free choice. They are stereotyped and discriminated against. And they are easily taken advantage of through methods like bribery and coercion. Informed consent is defined as the process by which a patient learns about and understands the purpose, benefits, and potential risks of a medical or surgical intervention, including clinical trials, and then agrees to receive the treatment or participate in the trial or experiment. Informed consent generally requires the patient or responsible party to sign a statement confirming that they understand the risks and benefits of the procedure or treatment. Voluntary participation is when people participate by their own will and free from coercion. Participants are free to withdraw their participation at any time without negative impact. Explanations are also not required. There are three principles of ethical research on humans that were put out by the Belmont Report. The first principle is respect. This means that individuals should be treated as autonomous agents. Also. There should be protection of individuals with reduced autonomy, like prisoners. The second principle is the idea of beneficence. This means that experiments should maximize benefits while also minimizing the risks. The third principle is justice, which involves equitable distribution of risks and benefits when carrying out research on humans. The laws and regulations that we have today around doing experiments with prisoners were created because of events like Dr. Kligman's perfume experiments at Holmesburg Prison. The laws and regulations include that the experiment must be reviewed by a full board with a prisoner representative or advocate. The risks must correspond with the risks that a non-prisoner would expect. Parole boards cannot take participation in research into account when making parole decisions. And, Benefits that prisoners may receive for participation in research must not be coercive given conditions of incarceration.